good evening in today's session we are going to discuss regarding mother of all bombs and father of all bombs the first one was tested by united states of america in the year 2003 second one father of all the bombs has been tested by russia in the year 2007 if you look at the current scenario and the war that is going on between russia and ukraine this concept of the bombs have come into the picture once again and nowadays we are hearing so much about the vacuum bombs and these bombs are present with america as well as russia and consider to be very 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 devastating and this can be launched like a rocket or it can be dropped from an aircraft and in this session we are going to understand how exactly it is going to work and what kind of devastation that can be created by this bombs let's try to understand this kindly stay tuned i am opening the document please have a look at this look at this so this vacuum bombs otherwise called thermo baric weapons these are controversial why because they are very much more devastating than conventional explosives of a similar size whenever there is a war it is really devastating and we are looking at the newspaper tv channels regarding the pathetic situation of the people in ukraine and if they use the bombs that will be more devastating than the conventional explosives and it will have a terrible impact on anyone caught in their blast radius and if you look at this vacuum bomb it is also called an aerosol bomb or fuel air explosive it consists of fuel container with two separate explosive charges this is how it is going to function look at this so there are two separate explosive charges this can be launched as a rocket or dropped as a bomb from aircraft when it hits the target what is going to happen fine the first one first time the first explosive will charge opens the container and widely scatter the fuel mixture as a cloud so initially there will be first explosive and that will be spreading the cloud that is nothing but the fuel mixture is scattered and where it is going that particular cloud this cloud has the capacity to penetrate any building openings or defenses that are not totally sealed meaning if there is any gap this cloud will penetrate into the building or any defense system now what happens the second charge that detonates the cloud returning resulting in a huge fireball kindly remember first explosive it charge opens the container that contains the fuel mixture and the second charge then detonates the cloud resulting in huge fireball then a massive blast wave and a vacuum which sucks up all surrounding oxygen and the weapon can destroy reinforced buildings equipments and kill or injure people very 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 devastating this is how you know there will be two explosives one will be spreading the cloud of fuel mixture and the second one will be you know this it will be resulting in a huge fire ball this is how it functions look at this how thermoboric weapons work the precision guided bomb strikes the target first the target will be hit second one small explosion releases a cloud of explosive material third step will be the second explosion ignites a cloud 
causing a massive blast and that is capable of vaporizing human bodies very 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 dangerous and we are discussing and the courtesy is bbc please right and you know this is very much there in the news it is because of the ongoing you know the war between russia and ukraine look at this in the year 2003 America tested 9800 kg bomb it has been nicknamed as mother of all bombs later Russia developed a similar device and is called the father of all bombs there is always a huge competition cut throat competition with respect to you know the strength between russia and united states of america and the cold war that began between these two countries after the world war 2 continuing even today also very 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 important one so if you look at the devastating impact and their usefulness against defenders who are dig into buildings our bunkers vacuum bombs have mainly been used in urban environments very 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 important one and hopefully these devastating bombs will not be used by russia on ukraine already there is so much of devastation and the world is not ready to face more and more devastation here and as early as possible the war should come to an end and there should be there should be a peace that will be existing in the world thank you so much and i'll see you in the next session